18 of Crafting with the Crankers. So today we're going to show you how to make a foil relief style picture so you can see those roses through the foil and then we're gonna actually paint those in. So what do we need for supplies today? Today you will need some foil Piece of oil. Oil. Going to need leftover paint from yesterday. So on episode 17, we showed you how to make paint with corn syrup and dot or um, food coloring. <laughs> so you can go back to episode 17 if you didn't see how to make that. What else do we need? We're going to need some Elmo school glue and some paint brushes. Oh, and you'll need some yarn, and scissors, some scissors, and a pencil. Yes, a little pencil. So draw out this, and then you can do it. Right. So it's easier if you draw out your design and then put hot glue over it, like I did with Lila's. Or yarn. Or if you don't have hot glue at home, that's when you'd use the white glue with the yarn. So I drew my design on and now I'm gonna cover the lines with the yarn and while I'm doing that Lila's gonna show you how to put the foil onto hers. So you're gonna take a little white glue first. Just gonna kind of rub it around. And you don't want it to be bumpy, so I just took my finger, smoothed it out. Because you don't want it, if it dries bumpy, then you're going to see gonna it. It's going to look bumpy. Alright, so we now she's going to flip it over under her foil. And she's going to flip it this way. And then she's going to gently rub with her fingers around... You want to rub in all the lines of your design. Touch your fingers. The leaf here. And I'm going to be drawing a rose with a sunset at the back of it. So the paint that we used yesterday, remember it's sticky. Sticky with So you. be careful when you're using it. And remember it takes 24 hours for this paint to dry. Maybe a little, maybe a little longer if you have it. So now we flipped it over. So the design's on the other side, and we're gonna kind of wrap it like a present. So we're gonna put a little glue on the edges and flatten it down. Gonna do a little glue on this side, flatten it down. Then we're gonna fold our corners in like you would on the edge of a present. So you've got the folded edges, and then you're going to go ahead and glue that down. Okay, I'm going to do it. So Keep some napkins handy. Put and hut. Yay! Yeah. Kind of got off the line. That's all right. I was guessing. So now you can see, like, the you can books. see her rose through there. Yep. So now she's. Those two are going to start painting. While I show you what you would do if you didn't have a hot glue gun and you needed to use yarn. So I'm going to take my white glue, and I'm going to follow my line with it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> then I'm going to take that yarn and I'm going to wrap it around that line. Make sure not to use too much paint because if you just scoop it all up it can drip and it can take longer to dry. It takes super quick. If you can't 
make the paint at home, you can use Sharpies on the foil. Yeah. Only. So I just wrapped it around the glue that I put down. And then I'm just going to go ahead. And, and I'm just doing follow. that, filling those spots in. No diesel. You hear dogs bark? It's because we have dogs. This is up. So there's the first part. I followed the spiral around the center. Now I'm going to do the wavy line around the spiral. Sorry about the dog. Okay, we'll send him outside. <laughs> to our leaf and stems. Oh, you have another rose. I'm not done with my rose yet because I'm taking my time. You need kind of like a thick thing and not thick paint to paint with because then it won't like, you can't use a, a lot of it because it's really thick. Well, you don't want it thin. So because you middle. don't want a lot and you don't want a little. Technically in the middle. You don't want a lot and you don't want a middle. Technically in the middle. <laughs> Sound about cool. But while I'm at it, I'm just going to do my other side, my other leaf. <laughs> Lexa's doing two roses, and I am only doing one. So the next thing I'm doing, oh. So now I have that squiggly line or wavy line that's around my spiral, and then I'm just going to do the ones that are coming off the sides. I'm just going to, right, what colors are else for these? I already got a red one. Um, Purple. They are. Roses well, come in all different colors. Pink. Orange, yellow, white. Oh, I've seen the white ones. Those ones are really pretty. Seen the ones that they put in coloring and then they look like a rainbow. I'm going to do my two favorite ones. Or like the speckled cool ones that have, look like darts and stuff. Yeah. I'm going to do my two favorite colors and pretend that one's pink and that one's purple. <laughs> It's actually red. I'm going to need another brush. Okay, I please. And by the way, this yarn that I'm using is rather thick. You don't want thin yarn because you want to be able to see it through the foil. And if it's too thin, you're not going to see it very well. My yarn got tangled, sorry. Oopsies. Yarn How are we doing, girls? Good. I'm doing really well. So I'm on my stem. Got my rose done. I'm just going to do a little sun where I'm going to get one, but just to the details. Oh, yellow. 
glow. So I use this color. Okay, now I'm, I finished my brows. Now I'm going to do, oh, I need this back. Because I'm going to do some grass at the bottom. And then I'm going to start my sunset. So my sunset, we made orange. I don't know where it went. Somewhere, yep. Yeah. And... It turns out yellow once you paint it. See, that was or this is orange. Um, so we might have to mix it a little, a little bit more. Red, I think. Yeah, a little more red will make it a little more orange. Where is the red? Just a smidge. Just a smidge. And remember, if you don't have a color, you can always make it by mixing colors together. Try this, Sunset. What are you doing, Sun? I just need, I think I need to make a little light purple. How do you make light purple? Well, we can't, we don't have a white, so we can't really make a light purple right now. Alright, so, there's that. My yarn is on all of the lines that I drew. And now I have to let this dry completely before I put my foil over the top. Because if I put my foil on while it's wet, it's just going to move it. And then you're not going to have your design. So, do you want to show them yours one more time after you finish with that grass? I have a smidge white glue, so I could make white purple. Mm -hmm. Glue I don't think will go with paint. No, I don't think so, do <laughs> Can I have more glue? No, that's not going to work. I'll just try to do a little. Alright, so can I hold yours up quick? Alright, so there's Lila so far. And she's going to keep going to add a sunset. But we're not going to make you sit here and watch us do that. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Crafting with the Crankers. See you next time. Bye. Make sure to subscribe and like this video.